So hello children so today we will be starting our fifth chapter that is fractions so first children we will be doing some recapitulation then we will be studying how to multiply and how to divide a fraction so let's get started into the video so let's start children fraction so a fraction is a part of a whole so it represents one or more equal parts of a whole object so here you can see the fraction 3 by 4. The 3 is called the numerator children. It is the number of equal parts consider. The in between bar you can see is called the fraction bar or a division bar. And 4 is the denominator. The denominator shows the total number of parts a whole is divided into. So children, you can also tell a fraction is a, a part of a set. So here you can see four bottles are there. Three of them are red and one is green. So we can tell three by fourth of the bottles are red. So next children, let's see what do you mean by unit fraction. So a fraction which has one as a numerator is called a unit fraction. For example, you can see here 1 by 3. Here 1 by 3, 1 is the numerator. Next is your 1 by 7, 1 by 13. This all are your unit fractions. Okay children? So based on the denominator children, you can divide a fraction into like as well as unlike fractions. The fraction with same denominators are called like fractions. For example, 1 by 4 and 3 by 4. Next is your children, unlike fraction. The fraction with different denominators are called unlike fraction. For example, 5 by 8 and 5 by 3, 2 by 7. Here you can see the denominators are different. So these are unlike fractions. The so next children, under types of fraction, we have also proper fractions. So what do you mean by proper fraction? Let's see. A fraction in which the numerator is less than the denominator is called a proper fraction. So here you can see 2 by 8. Here the numerator is 2 and the denominator is 8. And 2 is less than 8. Next to the children, improper fraction. A fraction in which the numerator is greater than or equal to the denominator is called an improper fraction. For example, 5 by 2. Here 5 is greater than 2. Or we can see the numerator is greater than denominator. So it's an improper fraction. Next children, 4 by 4. In 4 by 4, you can see the numerator is equal to the denominator. So it's also a improper fraction. Next type of fraction is your mixed fraction. So mixed fraction we can tell is the sum of a natural number and a proper fraction. For example children here you can see three circles are there and two whole circles and one circle is divided into one by two. So we can write 1 plus 1 plus 1 by 2. So in mixed fraction it will be 2 whole 1 by 2. So here 1 plus 1 we can get 2 and 2 is a natural number and 1 by 2 is a fraction. Next children, how to change a mixed number to an improper fraction? So let's see 5 whole 3 by 9 is there and we have to convert it into improper fraction. We have already learned in class 4 the formula natural number or the whole number multiplied by the denominator plus numerator divided by denominator. So let's apply the formula on 5 whole 3 by 9 children. So what to do? 5 is the natural number or the whole number multiplied by the denominator is 9 plus 3 is the numerator divided by denominator 9. 
which gives 45 plus 3 by 9 is equal to 48 by 9. Yes, children, all of you understood. The next, let's move on to our next topic, which is changing an improper fraction into a mixed number. So here we have 9 by 2 and we have to change it into a mixed number. As we learned in class 4, we need to divide 9 with 2. So here after dividing, we got 4 as a quotient, 1 as a remainder. So how to express children 9 by 2, an improper fraction into mixed fraction. So here is the formula, quotient plus remainder divided by divisor. So 4 is the quotient plus 1 as the remainder divided by 2. We can write 4 whole 1 by 2. That's all children. So Let's see children how to multiply and how to divide fractions. So multiplying fraction is very easy children. So what to do? Let's see. So here is the fraction. You can see 3 by 4 multiplied by 2 by 3. So first what to do children? So first we will multiply the top numbers. So what are in the top numbers? 3 as well as 2. So let's multiply 3 and 2. 3 and 2 is equal to 6 children. So next, what we will do? We will multiply the bottom numbers. What are in the bottom numbers? 4 and 3. So let's multiply 4 and 3 which is equal to 12. All of you understood? Yes. So then next, what to do? So then next, we will cancel the numbers. Okay. So here we will cancel 6 and 12, both the numbers with 6. So let's see, after cancelling 6, divisible by 6 and the quotient will be 1. So here we have written 1 children. And then next, 12 divided by 6, 12 divided by 6 is children, uh, 2. So now children, let's see how to divide two fractions. Here on the screen, you could see two fractions are written, 5 by 8 and 2 by 3. So 5 by 8 divided by 2 by 3. So what to do, children? Let's see. So the rule is, we will do the second fraction upside down. We will do the second fraction upside down. So what is the second fraction, children? It's 2 by 3. Upside down means... We will invert it. Okay. We will invert it. 2 by 3 is inverted to children 3 by 2. Next, we will change this division sign to multiplication sign then. Okay. Now, let's multiply the top numbers. 5 multiplied by 3 is children 15. And 8 multiplied by 2 is 16. So that's it for multiplying and dividing fractions.